Well, here we are. Weather's getting warmer out on the patio. Uh, I got these knives in and they're not mine, of course. Of course they're not mine. Why aren't they mine? I don't know. I didn't order one from Blades We Love, but Linus did and Jens did. Jens is right-handed. Linus is left-handed. Are you seeing the difference? Whoops. Here we go. Button lock. Button lock. So, since they make a paramilitary that's right hand and left hand, a para Spider Co. Paramilitary 2, for those of you that don't know. Um, but they're doing what they call the PM2 Ultra at Blades We Love. Let me show you briefly Blades We Love. I'll give you the link to Blades We Love and the PM2 Ultra or Paramilitary 2 Ultra. Why is it Ultra? Because it's ultra cool. Yes, it is. It's ultra cool. So you can get it however you want. You can get it with a milled clip. You can get it with a lynch clip titanium. You can have it anodized in flow maskus, in check pattern, cross pattern, whatever pattern, right? Starburst pattern. Or just blue. He will supply the blue titanium hardware. This standoff here. The blue screws. They can be in purple. They can be in gold. They can be in silver. Uh... Blue, silver, gold, and I can't remember, purple. So, there's at least four different colors available. These, obviously, are in CPM S30V because it's a standard blade. But, doesn't have to be, right? Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can send one of my sprint run knives to him and have him do the conversion. Wouldn't that be cool? So I don't know. I don't know if he'll do that. Uh, I think you might be able to negotiate that. Because, you know, I don't want to tear this apart and swap my blade. You could. I could. I'm definitely not going to tear these apart. I'll guarantee you that on the camera. Because there will be a couple of Swedes about ready to have me somewhere. I'll have to go into hiding. I'm going to leave it the way that Blades We Love did it. And ship it on to them. But I just had to put it on my camera because it's so ultra cool. Now, here's the left-hand version, right? However beyond bizarre that is. Because actually, it still works for a right-hander, doesn't it? You don't even see the button there. You don't have to have the clip on that side, by the way. You could flip that. but uh, And there you can, right there. See what I'm saying? Um but take a look on this. These are scales. You can get them in white. You can get them in red. You can get them in green. You can get them in orange. And they're even talking about micarta. So I'll give you the link to that. But you can see these, these scales here, they don't come like the normal PM2, which mine is, uh, tip up, tip down, right or left, tip up, tip down. This is right hand tip up only, so you don't have holes everywhere, do you? So if you're if you're one of those people that really don't enjoy, you know, three more sets of holes, of three holes each, put all over your knife, uh, then this might be an option for you. And the clean look of not having this cutaway. Because, I mean, the optics here, they're not perfect, are they? It's, you know, it's not as clean a look as doing this. The front, the back, there's no cutaways, there's no nothing. The mechanism is hidden inside, and you've got a button lock, PM2 Ultra. Very cool. Very interesting. If you want a milled clip, you can get a milled clip. Okay, so he's offering that. A little bit more pause and read information. Uh, 
we'll be offering them in white, orange, red, toxic green, JG10, okay, to start. Also, OD Green Canvas Micarta, hardware options, there's a deposit. I think this is the stock. If you, if you want to get the conversion done but keep the stock stainless screws, tube, clip, I mean, you're going to stay with that and just get the scales or something, uh, then 224 but then when you start doing the when you start doing the hardware upgrades and everything that's when and the lynch clip etc that's when the price goes up a bit but not all that bad like i was saying silver bronze purple and blue are the different hardware colors so you can click on your choice of scale colors and click on your a choice of hardware colors and then also which clip do you want and different colors and different hardware like they have purple on this toxic green then they have purple on the white they have blue on the white they have the bronze on that jade g10 green they have blue on the orange and silver on that jade blue on the red and bronze on the green, which I think really looks good, actually. It's really an optic color. And then bronze on the white. So they're showing you a lot of different options here. Just saying. Interesting. Pre-order, $10 deposit, all that. So it's not like I've talked with him and agreed to do a video on this. He doesn't have any idea I'm doing this. Uh, I just thought I want to put it on my camera because I've always been fascinated by this. This has been, he's had this going for months. So this ain't, this ain't new. Okay. This isn't breaking news. <laughs> All right. Um, custom pattern, 3D milled or Lynch clips with flow mascus and me mesh, you know, whatever you want. So there you go. Very cool kind of almost a translucence to these scales if you can see that let me pull this out of course you got the liners in here and everything but you know it does look a bit translucent there and that's uh, really interesting but i think the big thing that linus wanted was not the scales he wanted the left hand button Okay, I have a feeling he might do some other options with the scales later. But he got the left hand button conversion done with the Lynch clip and the anodized screws. So, really, it's a boutique. I mean, you can uh, a la carte this thing and just get with him. Uh, I, I find it interesting. Uh, I think I might take one of my. Uh, sprint runs and do something as well might be pretty cool that way i wouldn't have s30v necessarily uh, i could have whatever steel any of the sprint runs came in just for the heck of it obviously the length and everything is the same as the standard but this is 3.8 at 108 grams but let's roll it around to ounces and 3.8 ounces so does it change the weight well not really not at all okay and these are the custom scales by the way and there's not a dime's worth of difference and this it'll start i mean it depends on the color that you have anodized on the hardware in the clip but a little windex refreshes everything some colors, you know, they fade quickly and others not so much. And really this blue is held actually better than this bronze has. But I've, I've, I've uh, windexed it and it, it came back just as bright as this part here. Uh, so, hmm, different colors hold uh, different. Uh, is this drop shutty? Well, not right now it's not. And maybe if... Uh, you know, they did something to uh, loosen this pivot a little bit. It might be more that way. 
So now I've adjusted this pivot a little bit and it wouldn't drop shut before, but now it does. Just like that. Closes right up on you. See, you can adjust it differently. And once you do, you might want to put a little thread locker in there just to hold it. There you go, see? Now we're talking. So, left hand, right hand, button lock, keep the standard scales, go with the custom scales, customize the hardware, the clip, or not, however you want to do it, you've got choices. But the button lock feature, I think a lot of people are responding pretty positive uh, to it. It's, it's an interesting situation. Uh, whether you like the compression lock or you want to add the button lock so that it actuates the compression lock, however you want to roll with that, it's fine. Just gives you options. The PM2 Ultra from Blades We Love. Uh, yeah, uh, it, it's definitely something to think on. And yeah, I, I think I'm predisposed to at least owning one. Now I just got to decide what color scales, hardware, pocket clip, and on and on. I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much. Love them knives. You know what we do. We love them knives. So you guys stay sharp.